Hi there. As a new school year has begun, the Office of Special Education and the Special Education Parent Resource Center have received questions about COVID recovery services during the current 2021 to 22 academic year and wanted to provide additional information to families. We're going to take a look at what's happened so far, where we are now, and consider a few frequently asked questions. So what's happened so far? Last year, the Virginia Department of Education recommended that following school reopenings after a period of instruction, IEP teams should consider individual student data to document recruitment of skills or persisting skill deficits and consider the student's progress compared to the progress of all students during the extended school closure. During the 2020 to 21 academic year, IEP teams reviewed student performance and data, including pre-COVID closures, student participation, and performance during COVID closures and performance upon return to school. This includes in-person instruction, virtual instruction, and or hybrid instruction to assess skills in relation to pre-COVID closure and learning rates compared to peers. VDOE guidance indicated that IEP teams should be convened when there was a lack of expected progress as noted by data collection, reevaluations, and or parent concern. Parents and guardians are members of their child's IEP teams. If IEP teams determined that recovery services were required, APS recommended that IEP teams calculate the time, duration, and frequency of recovery services to correspond with nine week reporting periods as much as possible and recommended that various forms of data regarding progress be reviewed by IEP team members on a regular basis each quarter. As a result of IEP team determinations and consultation with families regarding student availability during the summer months, some students began receiving recovery services during the 2020 to 21 school year some students received recovery services during the 2021 summer break, and some students began receiving recovery services this fall. As noted in the OSE's clarification, once recovery services are agreed upon, implemented, and delivered, case carriers would contact parents or guardians to inform them that recovery services were complete and the team could reconvene for next steps. So where are we now? Are recovery services still being provided? Yes, students were determined to require recovery services last year in IEP meetings. Those agreed upon services occurred last year, last summer, and or this fall. Recovery services may occur before or after school hours or during the school day. Some students' IEP teams have made decisions based on data that continue recover, continuing recovery services are required. Looking at a few frequently asked questions, are recovery services monitored? Yes, recovery services have progress reports that will be completed and shared with parents. Are recovery services addressed in Virginia statutes or regulations? No but VDOE has published a recovery services guidance document. What do I do if I have concerns about my child's progress and or learning? Talk to your child's case carrier. Request an IEP meeting if needed. Reflect on present levels of performance, goals, accommodations, and services. The team can consider adjustments if needed. Where can I learn more? Parents can contact their child's case carrier or contact the Parent Resource Center at 703-228-7239 or by email at prc at apsva.us. We hope this quick clarification video was helpful. 